Yeah. Like yeah. a Pharisee. Yeah. Oh well. Wow. There we go. Woo! How are you guys? Good. 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 Are you warm enough? I think, I think she wants to get the flare. <laughs> Good morning, Mayor. <laughs> How are you? Good morning. We've, uh, we've emerged. Yeah. Good morning. 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 Like I've never, Mom. I've seen a mirror in a journal, but like, this goes beyond it. Do you mind know, every time you're recording? Who wants to see some fireworks? Down. Who's ready for fireworks? In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set them off. Here we go. Or set them off now. So 
Wireton Willie. We want to make sure he's good and awake. Now the big question, and I'm probably going to ask you this about a hundred times throughout the morning, I do want to know, making their way down from upstairs having breakfast, who here in the crowd wants an early spring? I, I figured, you guys had a lot of snow here in Wireton for the last week, so I'm sure spring is, is, is something that a lot of people want. But also then the big question is, who wants six more weeks of winter? Yeah, that's what I like to hear too. So. We're going to ask that throughout the day. I'm going to head down to the crowd, find out if there's some people from out of town. I know last year there were some people here from England, from Australia. People travel from all over the world to come here to the spectacular town of Wyerton. Um, before we can get things started, we do want to make sure we thank our sponsors. The sponsors are the ones who make this festival happen. The big platinum sponsor and the sponsor again this year. A big round of applause to Sunway. The gold sponsors are Bruce Power, Tim Hortons, Barry's Construction, Lax O'Sullivan, Lysis, Gottlieb. Big round of applause to all of them. Oh, so she's wearing the attire. Yeah.
gentlemen, put your hands together for Bruce Worthington. <laughs> hey, Martin, how's it going? Uh, my name is Bruce Worthington. I'm from Sauble Beach, which, if you don't know, is a part of uh, the town of South Bruce Peninsula. Happy to be here this morning. Uh, this is a song I wrote about Gord Downey. It's called Could Have Been the Willie Nelson. Could have been the storm Rolling through New Orleans I Might have been the week And I sing about the name of Gordon And I would not have known The parents of the prairie you hear kids shout Ringing through my heart He left the saddle on some Oh, maybe not Could have been the Willie Nelson Uh, dancing away. This is, I write songs about two things: ex-girlfriends and Gord Downey. So this one's about an ex-girlfriend. <laughs> it's called Dancing Away. And put your hands together for Bruce Warlington. All right, uh, I'm here at the side of the stage. I'm going to make my way down into the crowd. I want to find out who has come to Wyerton for Groundhog Day and who's from out of town. So who's from out of town over here? to make my way to this lovely young lady here. Where are you from? Barry. Big hands for Barry. Anyone else farther from Barry? Come on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Over here, where are you guys from? Why are you, why are you up here now? Hands up, hands up, come on. Hey. And we're gonna keep this party going. We've got a good friend, Mr. Vadim. Come on up here. Let's go! 
some competition. Right side, let me hear ya. All right, it's very simple. The song goes like this: Vacation better, Sunwing.ca. You say vacation better, Sunwing.ca. You say. Show the people that you 
great event where they pick some festival ambassadors and this is the opportunity for you guys to cheer them on big congratulations to the people who are the ambassadors and I'm gonna introduce them now so the 2019 lady ambassador Brie Gilbert the 2019 gentleman ambassador Jonathan Pickett This is where when you come on stage, you gotta give a big wave, okay. The 2019 Lady Envoy, Lily Gibbons. The 2019 Gentleman Envoy, Eric Norton. Come on, Eric, big waves, all right. And last but not least, the 2019 Little Miss Ambassador Raylin Beatty. Loving the nose. I should have put one of those on me today. Ladies and gentlemen, give them another big round of applause. Your ambassadors for the Wyerton Willie Festival 63rd Annual. Thank you so much. It is almost that time we are soon going to hear the pipes and drums as Wyerton Willie makes his way to the stage as well as the shadow cabinet. Now, if memory corrects me right, last year, Willie predicted six more weeks of winter, right? Who said boo? <laughs> you can never boo Wyerton Willie. Oh, I love you. have a sign with nice green grass. It's nice. We have a lot more people here in the crowd now, so I think that the scientific poll that I did earlier in the morning doesn't count anymore. So now we have more people here to vote. So I do want to know, who wants an early spring? <laughs> All right, province, you're so fortunate with the great uh, snowmobile trails. We have ski hills, you know, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, fat biking. So, you know, if, if winter does want to stick around, there's lots of opportunity to stick around. We also uh, went to the crowd earlier. We found out that someone was from Japan. Guelph, Pickering. Someone said they were from Wyerton. They live across the street. That didn't really help with our whole who's from out of town thing, but I did let her know that I like my eggs over easy and I'm coming over as soon as the prediction's done. Who else is from out of town? We also want to give a big round of applause because a lot of people don't realize, you see all these cameras here in front of us at the stage. This is the media that are broadcasting not only across Ontario, but right across Canada, showcasing Wyerton and the 63rd Wyerton Willie Festival. And it's not but they're also shooting you guys in the crowd. 
So let's give them a big round of applause and say thank you so much to all the media that have come down to highlight Wyerton, show people that why they should come to Wyerton, not just in the winter, but also in the summer too. It's very important. Now, some of you have also been interviewed on TV, right? I saw the, the folks here. Now, where are you guys from? U.S. Texas. Texas. From Texas. New York City. Texas, New York City. Well, thank you. Welcome to Canada. Welcome to Ontario. Now, what do you think? Your sign says, we there's Konsitani Phil, and there's, I can never say this right, Shuganaki, Shuganaki Sam? Shuganaki Sam. But we all know the most important groundhog, not just in North America, but the most important groundhog right across the world is who? That's right, Wire Tim Willie, and I was a big fan of his last year because he did say an early, uh, he did say six more weeks of winter, and I'm a winter guy. Don't throw snowballs at me, anybody, for saying that. But you know, I'm a fan of his, you know, and I think that he's been right. He's been very right. But the big prediction will happen at 8 or 7 a.m. And we all know that the mayor, Janice Jackson, has a nice conversation with Wire Tim Willie. I have no clue what they talk about. I have no, it's football, yeah. Uh, but, you know, he, he talks to her, she makes the prediction after what he says, and then that's what actually happens. So, you know, it's nice to see that the fact that, you know, Wyatt and Willie, the Mayor Janice Jackson, have a great relationship, and, and, and he's been pretty right. So, we're looking at time now, we're getting pretty closer to the Shadow Cabinet making their way up here. I'm going to make my way back down into the crowd. Find out, I'm gonna scoot around this side because last time I went to the left side. Scoot across the media. The Shadow Cabinet, a big hats off of course, like I mentioned earlier, to the festival founder, Mac McKenzie who's no longer with us, but the nice part is he is being represented by his daughter, Regan McKenzie. We also have, you know her, you love her. She's the one who makes the prediction with, well, gets the Janice Jackson. We also have MP Larry Miller. MPP Bill Walker of Bruce Gray Owen Sound. And the Minister of Sea, Sand, and definitely a lot of fun, David Wright representing Sunwing as our platinum sponsor. As well as the Minister of Youthful Affairs, Lauren Hopkins, which is representing the Peninsula Shores District School. Chief Greg Nejawan could not be here, but he is being represented by Councillor Anthony Shigano from the Chippewas of Nawash, Unseated First Nations. As well as we have Bruce Bauer being represented by CEO Mike Renchek. Before we get started with the big prediction, I'm going to have a couple of people say a couple of quick words because we are getting a little heavy. But I'm going to ask first, we're going to have Bruce Bauer, CEO Mike Renchek, to say a couple of words. Good morning! All right! Has everybody had their mitts? I'm Mike Rinchek, President and CEO of Bruce Power. We're so happy to be a sponsor today. We provide 30% of the electricity for Ontario at 30% less than the residential cost. We're hoping for an early spring. Some people are wondering for an early spring, some people not. We also have uh, Councillor Anthony Chinogo from uh, First Nations. Chigano, sorry. I was going to correct them. <laughs> this festival has really grown over the years since I was a young, young lad. I'm not as old as Larry and Bill, but so I do thank you very much for coming out and supporting this worthy event. I thank Bruce Power for, and also for the mayor and everyone else that have come out today. Enjoy yourself. May you, we all learn to walk together in one. Aho. I like that. Thank you so much. I'm also going to call upon MPP Bill Walker. 
Without a shadow of a doubt, it's a great time to be in Wyarton, Ontario, Canada. This is truly small town Canadiana, and when you see our Premier Doug Ford, he's going to have a wonderful time and rock the place. Enjoy and happy winter. Yes, happy winter, everybody. Up next, MP Larry Miller. Thanks very much, and it's great to be here, and I'm not going to get into an argument but uh, uh, I'll tell you, he was a heck of a pitcher in his day because I used to uh, catch him a long time ago. But anyway, back to Wart and Willie. What a crowd here. Fantastic. And uh, I'm not even going to try and uh, uh, outguess what Willie's going to predict. But it's a great day. Good to see everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much. And I know she got a big round of applause when she came up here. We know her. We love her. I'm going to introduce you to everybody knows her. The Mayor, Janice Jackson. in South Bruce Peninsula. Thank you so much for coming out in this cold weather. And I gotta tell you, this, our staff was just absolutely outstanding. Look at that picture, that's very cool. <laughs> listen, listen uh, our staff put all of this together in one day because of the snowstorm, and I just want to give a huge shout out to Angie and Cherry, the Parks and Rec crew, the Public Works crew, and all of our staff. All right, listen, in our 63 years, of hosting the Wired and Willie Festival, we have never had the Premier of Ontario take the time to come on up here and have some fun with us. So, I want to introduce you to Ontario's Premier, Mr. Doug Ford. Well, first of all, folks, it's great to be here in Wyarton. 63 years of tradition. As I always say, when you get out of the bubble of uh, Toronto, these are the real people of Ontario. Sense of community. <laughs> you have a real sense of community and tradition. When we were pulling up, uh, seeing everyone walking, I'm thinking, wow. You know, 7 o'clock in the morning, people are just ready to go. So let's see what... Uh, Oh, Willie's going to say today. How many people think there's going to be six weeks more to go? Okay. How many people think there are, he's not going to see a shadow? That's about a 50-50. And you're with the people. I'm always with the people. Anyways, my friends, I can't wait to come back in the summer and make this a tradition every year. I want to wish you all the best. You have the best MPP in the world. I call him Wild Willie. And Bill Walker, he's the best. Absolute champion. My friends, thank you and God bless you. Thank you so much, Mr. Premier, and thank you so much to everybody else for coming out. We are waiting for the man of the hour. He's going to be coming up here soon, but I want to take another poll because I know everyone has filled their bellies with lots of nice breakfast upstairs. We've got lots of great people from Wyarton. We've got lots of great people from all over the world. Like I said, Mr. Premier, we've got people here from Japan. We've got people here from the, from the U.S. that have come to, to Wyarton just to be here for the Wyarton Willie Festival. Now, before we get started, I do want to ask uh, Mayor Janice Jackson a couple of questions because you have the very important job always of having that one-on-one -on -one conversation with Willie. Is he tired when he wakes up? How does that kind of go? No, he's not tired. As a matter of fact, he hasn't even gone to sleep yet. He gets so pumped over this festival that he actually doesn't hibernate until tomorrow. Okay, good. Now, has anyone in the town in the last week, because I know you guys got a lot of snow. A little bit of snow. You guys got a little bit of snow here, right? No, I'm very proud of all the people who made this happen because I saw the amount of snow driving up here. But has anyone come into your office in the last week and said, if I slip you 20 bucks, yeah. well, maybe you and Willie sort of, you know, have a little conversation and make it an early spring instead of six weeks of winter. How many bribes do you get on a daily basis? I, I actually get quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> and the radio people, too. I've done so many radio interviews and almost all of them start off with a bribe. Do they? Yes. Yeah, do they? Well... I'm going to try to maybe slip you a 10 bucks to make it six more weeks of winter because I think that I would definitely like six more weeks of winter. Who wants six more weeks of winter? Amazing winter and all the winter activities, so I agree with you. But I do have to be honest and I do have to ask the other people, 
who does want an early spring? I think that six more weeks of winter was louder, no? All right, I would say probably six more uh, in early spring was the consensus. So we're waiting for the man of the hour. I'm going to ask the town crier to come on up here. Bruce has been part of this event for many, many years. Bruce Kruger and his grandson, McGregor, they are the gentlemen who get things kicked off. They are the ones who make sure Willie's wide and awake. Give him a big round of applause. All right. Yes. We are seven minutes away from the big prediction, everybody. So we're going to get them to get started. Then we're going to have some fun before Willie makes his prediction. So go ahead, gentlemen. to the big prediction. I'm going to move these out of the way so then we can make sure that we get as many pictures of Wired to Willie as possible. One thing I'm going to suggest, and I know it's not the best because of lighting, but if you do have a flash, we don't want to flash too many lights at uh, Wired to Willie, you know, just to scare him because he's got a very important job to do in just a couple of minutes. Before we do the prediction though, if I can ask uh, Mr. Premier Doug Ford. This is your first Groundhog Festival, Mr. Premier. The excitement driving up here, coming to Wyerton, have you had a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with Willie yet? No, I paid him a visit last night, had a little chat with him to see what was going on, but I think, uh, I think we're going to have a, an early spring here. Oh, you do? <laughs> okay, so Mr. Premier thinks early spring. I think when we asked the crowd, most people thought early spring, some people thought winter. But the big reason, we have to exact time that Mayor Janice Jackson as well as Wired to Willie make that big prediction. 
but we have to wait till 8.07. So I know that it's always hard because, you know, the TV cameras are all here and everyone's got their cameras going. So I can't start early. We've got to wait till Willie's good and ready. I'm going to ask the rest of the crowd, what's your prediction? Um, I don't really care. You don't really care? I like that attitude. I don't want to ask you, Mayor, because I know your prediction. I don't think it's fair that I try and uh, pre-predict Willie, but uh, I like winter, but I also like spring. <laughs> okay. I know what your answer is going to be. I'm with the people. <laughs> I think the people said early spring. Now, the, 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 the gentleman from Sunwing Vacations, I know what you're going to say, sir. Six more weeks of winter. Yes, okay. <laughs> and what do you think? With the weather we've been having, he'd be lying if he said spring. Okay. And I know that uh, the mayor said this. This festival not only takes a lot of work every year that it takes place, but this year more than anything. Roads were closed down coming into Wyerton. When I came in here yesterday, I saw dump truck after dump truck being filled with snow to make sure that the whole area here was clear, the main road was clear. So a huge, and I mean a huge, big round of applause, not only to the festival organizers, but also to all the hardworking men and women who made sure the roads were open and we could all make it here to Wyerton for the 63rd annual Wyerton Willie Festival. All right, it is 8.05, so if my math is correct, minus two, carry 10, whatever, we're two minutes away from the big prediction, 8.07. So we've got lots of people here. We mentioned, we have people here from Wyerton. Let's hear the Wyerton people. That's big. Let's hear the people who are from an hour outside of Wyerton. Let's hear from the people that are three hours outside of Wyerton. And then the last one, I want to hear a big crowd cheer from anybody who's from outside of Ontario. We want to personally thank all of those people for visiting Ontario. There's so much to discover. Make sure you discover it all in Ontario, not only this winter, but all year long, because it's a great province, and I'm very proud to be part of it. So a big round of applause to everybody who has come out, braved the cold weather, and made it here to Wyerton today for the 63rd annual Wyerton Willie Festival. We want to make sure we're one minute away. Next year, the 64th annual, and I'm sure that plans are already being made, because in two years' time, it will be the 65th annual Wired to last night at dinner. It's a leap year next year. So next year's festival happens on a Monday. So we'll all write you permission slips to take the day off work, okay, next year on the Monday. So you can make sure that you're here for the Wired to Willie Festival. I'm sure we're about 30 seconds away. I'm going to wait for the crowd to let me know. 20 seconds away. So and very shortly, I need everybody as loud as possible to do a countdown from 10 and we're going to get the big prediction to see if Wyerton Willie will say six more weeks of winter 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 all right mayor Janice Jackson having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Wyerton Willie the most intense conversation the mayor has all year long to find out what Wyerton Willie says, the big prediction. Okay. Oh, okay. So it looks a good conversation. Now she's got to concur with the, the rest of the shadow cabinet. Okay. See if everyone agrees. Okay. Time for the big prediction, everybody. What has Willie said? Will it be an early spring? or six more weeks of winter? Well, I don't know who he's gonna disappoint, but he said it's gonna be an early spring. Oh! All right, you heard it here first, everybody. Early spring predicted by Wyerton Willie. Throw away your shovels, put on a smile, for Willie says it will be an early spring by a country mile. So once again, the town crier rings. Yes, Willie predicts. I repeat, it's an early spring. Now return to your homes with a sense of great joy. Bring out the bicycles and springtime toys. Why aren't you Willie? you all. We'll see you here next time. Happy Groundhog Day. Well, everybody, you heard it here. 
Wire. This is the most important Wireton uh, Willie Festival. He's made the prediction early spring. This is the only prediction we need to hear. A big round of applause to everybody who came out for the 63rd annual Wireton Willie Festival. A big round of applause to Wireton Willie with his big prediction. Early spring for everybody. We will see you right back here next year. All right, we do want to say a big thank you again to our sponsors, Sunwing, our 2019 Platinum sponsor. Big round of applause to them, as well as our gold sponsors, Bruce Power, Tim Hortons, Barry Construction, Laxo Sullivan, Lysis Glebo, for being our sponsors. Thank you so much, everybody. And we do want to make sure everybody knows there is festivities happening all weekend long. So today and tomorrow throughout Wyerton, get out, take advantage of all the great stuff happening. Thanks for coming out, everybody, and we will see you next year at the 64th annual Wyerton Willie Festival. Back in 56, back headed into town. The place to drink, Bruce County, not dry, old or wind sound. Sent out invitations, this party's going down. Near and far, they came from best drinking all around. He came in with a notebook, but them kids can't get to school.